Hi, uh, we're down in San Diego. My name is Mark. We're with Bicycle Warehouse. Uh, this is the new Giant Trance Pro 3 29er. Full carbon tip to tail. This bike is absolutely awesome. It's got trail geometry, so it's got a slack head angle. It's got a really short wheelbase. Extremely playful bike. Uh, I'm sure you've read plenty of reviews on this bike, how playful it is and does not feel like a 29er. You really got to get come out and give it a ride on the trails. It climbs like a beast. It descends like a beast. It is awesome to ride. Awesome, awesome bike. Again, carbon tip to tail. This is the new SRAM SX 1x12. Climbs great. Gear ratios phenomenal. We got the new Bomber Z2 front fork. Um, incredible entry level fork that just performs way beyond its price range. The Minion 2.3 DHR, and we have the Minion 2.3 DHF in the front. Unbelievable grip on these tires. They work great for all terrain, especially here in Southern California. It's phenomenal. Comes with a dropper post on it, the giant switch post, which is an unbelievable post. Has the Fox rear shock with the trunnion mount. Trunnion mount meaning actually look, being able to lower the center of gravity and a bigger air volume in the can so you can run a little lower pressure and it's more supple. Uh, carbon link all the way around, one piece link, makes it extremely stiff. Beautiful ride, holds its line incredibly. So going towards the front of the bike, it comes with the new Marzocchi Z2 front fork. It has a lockout on it. You can dial the compression. This is fully open, it says firm. Flip it back, fully locked out, so a good climbing machine. Get ready for the descent, flip it back forward, fully open. 130 mil travel of plushness, pure joy. It's a quick release through axle, so you don't have to use an Allen wrench to get it out. You know, it's just your basic quick release. Open it, spin it just like you would a quick release, and then it slides right out, so you don't have any Allen tool needed or anything uh, that's really nice to be able to do that very quickly. Either loading it in their car or fixing a flat or anything like that. So we have air on this side. Do you adjust it to your uh, preference? It has a little chart on the back of the fork here to let you know what your body weight and gives you a reference for what you should put in the fork. Uh, this is where you put the air in right up top. So you have to have a shock pump, a high pressure shock pump. Uh, you can get that at Bicycle Warehouse when you purchase the bike. And then just, uh, you can adjust the air. It's always a good idea to take the shock pump with you on your first couple rides, so you can really dial it in. Um, on the bottom here, we have rebound dampening. So that slows how, for, how fast the fork comes back up at you. And you can dial that in right here with this knob down here. So, Brand new Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, these are your entry level disc brakes, but they are phenomenal. They work really, really good. You can adjust the throw with a small, I believe it's a 2.5, maybe a three mil Allen, and that will adjust how far the bar, the lever is to the bar. So if you like it further out, you push it in and the, the lever will go out. Uh, if you want it closer to the bar, you unscrew it and it'll come closer to the bar. Um, we uh, Giant came out with the new underbar a quick um, dropper post lever. So uh, we used to have a thumb one that was above. Now it's under, just like a shifter. It is phenomenal. It works really, really good. Um, it, it does have a cable adjustment right here. So if the cable does get loose, it's a new bike and the cable stretches, you can adjust the tension by this knob right here and you're good to go. Okay, um, comes from the factory with tubeless tires all set up, ready to go. Sealant's already um, in the in the tires from the dealer. Uh, you want to replace the sealant every three months, maybe four or five, depending on you know where you live, the weather, the temperature. But it's always good to replace it. Um, by replacing it, you can just take off the valve stem right here, unscrew it, and then you have a little nut that a little wrench that takes off the nut on the top of this unscrew it all the air will come out roll the tire down to the bottom like this so I roll it up to about here I insert the sealant uh, and then I'll roll it up a little bit further 
uh, to make sure I just don't make a mess of everything, pull it out and then I'll insert uh, the valve stem back in and pump it up and you're ready to go. Okay, like I was saying earlier, this bike for a 29er is extremely playful and that is because we have a very short chain stay. Chain stay is just a hair over 17 inches. It's 17.126, so it is, the rear wheel is really tucked under your butt and it really wheelies phenomenal. Again, doesn't feel like a 29er, feels like a very, very playful 27.5. Um, that is because the chain stay is so, so short and just makes it a really lively bike to ride. It's really, really fun. If you haven't ridden one, you really gotta try it. Okay, so just a few more things about the, it's a new 2020 Trance Advanced Pro 3 29er. Full carbon, tip to tail, retail just over $3,000. That's right, just over $3,000 for a full carbon bike. Absolutely awesome. So enough talking. I'm out of here. You guys have a good day.